Hello there, let's take a look at the weather for the week ahead. Now with low pressure close by for yet another weekend, it's been a rather unsettled picture again, blustery throughout the day on Saturday with some sunshine as recorded by a weather watcher in Perth and Kinross, but also good scattering of showers such as here in Cambridgeshire. And as we head through Sunday, it's a quieter looking day, still windy for the time of year, but not as blustery. Still some sunny spells, but fewer showers around. Now this is the satellite picture from earlier on on Saturday. You can see that there's another deep area of low pressure just approaching from the southwest as we head through Sunday with yet more heavy rain moving into Scotland and Northern Ireland. But this is how we'll start the day on Sunday on a largely dry note. It's also mild out there as well. Temperatures between 14 and 16 degrees. Still a keen southwesterly wind, but not as blustery as it was on Saturday. And there will be a good scattering of showers too, but they won't be as heavy or as thundery as they were on Saturday. Still possibly a rumble or two of thunder across the Murray Firth and there'll be further spells of rain moving into Northern Ireland and parts of Western Scotland by the end of the day. Top temperatures in East Anglia where it will tend to be driest and brightest, 23 degrees Celsius. But this is the position of the rain on Sunday night into Monday morning. That's going to be moving northwards and eastwards across much of Wales, southwest England, central southern England and into northern England too. It could be that Scotland sees a largely dry day, scattering of showers out towards the east, some heavy and thundery, possibly mostly dry for Northern Ireland and lots of dry weather too across East Anglia and the southeast of England, although still the risk of some showers here. As we head through Tuesday, that deep area of low pressure is pushing off towards Scandinavia and high pressure starts to build in, but still various fronts waiting out in the Atlantic. They will be stalled. So on Tuesday then, it's a mostly dry start, but a very murky start to the morning. There's lots of low cloud around, some areas of sea mist and fog as well, possibly some sharp showers breaking out across central and western areas of Scotland, but plenty of dry weather too. And as that cloud tends to break up, there'll be some sunshine emerging 22 or 23 degrees Celsius across East Anglia and southeast England. And then on Wednesday, high pressure is centred towards the north of the UK. That's going to be pushing further eastwards, low pressure out in the Atlantic again. But of course, it's been stalled by that high pressure. It's another murky start to the day. There'll be plenty of mist and fog around, lots of low cloud too. Again, the sunshine will begin to break through. And temperatures across central southern England, perhaps western areas of East Anglia, could get as high as 25, even 26 degrees Celsius on Wednesday. And it's looking pretty similar again on Thursday. Again, there could be a few showers around. There will be some low clouds to start the day. Temperatures pegged back towards North Sea facing coast too, with perhaps a bit of sea mist around. So just the high teens here. We'll start to see some rain approach Northern Ireland by the end of the day. This is the position of the jet stream as we head through next week. Some debate about how far north it will be, but it's drawing in, of course, this air from southern Europe. So it is going to start to feel a little warmer across southeast England and possibly southern Wales as well, staying unsettled and cooler further north towards the north of the jet stream. But across Cardiff, we could see temperatures rise into the mid 20s, possibly the high 20s across London and the southeast and then cooling down somewhat over the weekend. Bye bye for now.